Have you ever thought about this? Well, if not, let's do it today. When you flush, your wastewater enters into a sewage pipeline, which is then connected to your city's underground network. So, let's talk about Pune, a city in Maharashtra. The city is divided into 22 basins in which sewage from nearby areas is collected and passed on. Outlets from these basins enters Mura Mutha River at various points. You can check the map of Pune's drainage system on TMC website. So now, the sewage water cannot enter the river directly. This water should be passed through an STP. But what is an STP and how does it work? So an STP plant works in following steps, the first of which is the primary treatment. It involves removal of large or small size components in the wastewater through physical processes like filtration or settling tanks. Then comes the biological treatment wherein microorganisms play a major role. They will literally eat your sewage and convert it into a purer version of water which can then be let out into the river. Sometimes the water is also cleaned by chlorination if needed. The sludge is rendered as solid waste and the treated water is let out into the river. STP scan, treat water and render it suitable to let into the rivers. Then, they can also reduce the biological oxygen demand of water. They can also generate manure and help in water recycling and reusing. But wait, think for a second. What if this wastewater is directly let out into the river? The sewage may contain many harmful organisms coming directly from the patients. Don't forget about the coronavirus. Right. Do you think it is okay to let it out directly into our river? Not at all. Hence, the PMC has installed STPs at various places near a river bank. As you can see, in the map, there are around 9 to 11 STPs near the banks of Mura Mutha in Pune. But well, they aren't enough. According to Hindustan Times, as on May 3, 2021, the city generates 744 million litres per day, that is MLD, of sewage. Out of that, only 50 MLD sewage is treated. So basically, the remaining 194 MLD sewage enters our river, that is Mura Mutha, without being treated. Hence, the treated water and the untreated water mix with each other and all our efforts go in vain. Not just time and money guys, but we are causing pollution too. On the same river water, crops are grown, which we all eat. This was particular seen near the Mundhwa Jackwell. Further, there was a study conducted in 2021 which saw traces of COVID-19 in Mura Mutha. It was reported by Indian Express as you can see on the screen. Not just Corona, but this untreated treated mix of water hosts other such bacteria and viruses. But, kahani mein twist hai. The Japan International Cooperation Agency is funding a pollution abatement project in which 11 new STPs will be set up at different parts in our city. The project is hoped to be completed by 2025, which will then treat additional 396 million litres per day of sewage. But in the story, there is another twist. The sewage generation is expected to increase to 1200 MLD from 744 MLD by 2025. And well, this is all about systematic drainage network. Rising human encroachments do not have proper sewage systems. Therefore, the sewage enters the rivers untreated. Take for example, the Parvati Darshan area in Pune. You might have heard about the Ambil Oda. Yes, the same Oda that got flooded after the Katras Lake burst in 2019. Just imagine, literally everyone's waste entered into the people's houses. Do you know how much the PMC has to work? to remove all that kachara from the sewage which contains plastic, thermocol and what not. Believe us, it's not easy to manage food is sewage with whatever is going on right now. Yet again, the PMC uses money from the tax. It's our money. Aap khud ke paisa waste kar rahe ho. To have a planned sewage system, we'll have to change the entire plan of our city. Ab logon ko uta kar dusri jagah adhani rakh sakte. Considering the problems with rehabilitation, the only solution as of now is installing more and more STPs. Guys, it is not hard to manage our sewage system. By planning out the work and working out the plan, this can easily be done. But it is us who need to look after the cleanliness of our river. There is no use of discussing such problems amongst us. If you want change, demand change. This was all about Pune. Do you know, Bharat mein sirf tehtis pratishat mela pani treat hota hai? You must have seen the photos of toxic foam formation in Yamuna river. All this is the result of poor sewage management. Problems, problems, problems. 
solution? We always appreciate the cleanliness of rivers in foreign countries. Don't you think we should learn from them? Sydney is a city where there is no power or water cut. Water used for cleaning toilets is used for drinking. People they never say, Pani ke tere baak ka hai? Yet, less than 1% of sewage is led into the sea untreated. How? There are sufficient number of STPs to treat 1.3 BLD of sewage. Don't get too complex by this. India also has a similar examples. The Titan company in India has this brilliant idea of disinfection using seawater. Seawater contains huge amounts of NaCl. If we pass an electric current through it, we get free chloride ions which can then be used for the process of chlorination. Another example is that of Tamil Nadu Housing Society of Police. Even the Tamil Nadu Police Housing Society has installed its own STP which treats about 12 lakh liters of sewage every day. Thus, there is no negative discharge, no odor, no diseases and a lot of manure. हम सालों से यही सुनते आए हैं कि जल ही जीवन है लेकिन क्या सच में हम ये मानते हैं स्टॉप ट्रीटिंग वाटर मियरली एज एच टू स्टार्ट ट्रीटिंग इट एज इफ इट्स योर गॉड प्लीज 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 स्टॉप थ्रोइंग गार्बेज इन रिवर टेल दिस टू एवरी वन अराउंड यू राइट फ्रॉम काम वाले बाई टू कचरे वाले काका इफ यू सी देम थ्रोइंग गार्बेज इन वॉटर वी हैव सी द सो वर्ल्ड एजुकेटेड पीपल पॉल्यूटिंग वॉटर जस्ट बिकॉज देर टू लेस ही और केयरलेस try to seek information about current scenario of ongoing and proposed projects if you have time try to visit such places doing this every 3 months may help ask about the development of your city this might sound time consuming but your interest can boost up the speed of work take interest in signing petitions for such topics sometimes it's not possible for us to actually be a part of it but we can surely support the people doing this for us guys patriotism is not just watching movies or bursting crackers when india wins a cricket match it starts from taking such small steps hi this is sai hi this is vilva and we have started this new initiative to spread awareness and knowledge about the most important things we all should know so if you like our video press on the like button and do subscribe for our latest updates We'll meet you all next time with a fresh new topic. Until then, Jai Hind.